This video will break down V speeds for student pilots and flight training purposes. V speeds are an important concept to learn in order to safely pilot an aircraft. Student pilots will need to know what V speeds are and how to read them on an airspeed indicator to properly prepare for the private pilot check ride and written exam. Further reference on V speeds can be found in Chapter 8 of the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. VX is the best angle of climb speed. The best angle of climb speed will enable the pilot to get the greatest amount of altitude gain over the shortest distance. Angle of climb is used for short field takeoffs in order to clear an obstacle. It is important for pilots to practice this maneuver and flying at the VX speed because lack of experience in proper short field takeoff and obstacle clearance maneuvers could lead to an inadvertent departure or takeoff stall. VY is the best rate of climb speed. The best rate of climb allows for the greatest amount of altitude gain over the shortest period of time. The best rate of climb speed is typically the normal airspeed established during the post-takeoff and departure phases of the flight. Maneuvering speed is symbolized by the letters VA. When flying at or below the design maneuvering speed an aircraft will stall before it is damaged by excessive loads. It is important for pilots to remember to be cautious if flying over the maneuvering speed because any factor that suddenly increases the load factor on the airplane, such as a significant wind gust, could cause structural failure when flying above the maneuvering speed of the aircraft. Below is a practice question you may see on the private pilot written exam in regards to maneuvering speed. What is an important airspeed limitation that is not color-coded on airspeed indicators? Maneuvering speeds are not color-coded on airspeed indicators. The VNO speed indicates the maximum structural cruising speed of the aircraft. The VNO speed is the highest speed at which a pilot can safely fly in smooth air. The VNO speed is indicated by the upper limit of the green arc on the airspeed indicator. The VNE speed is the never exceed speed. An airplane should never be flown above the VNE speed in any situation. The never exceed speed is indicated by the red line on the airspeed indicator of the aircraft. Below is a practice exam question a student pilot may see on the private pilot written exam in regards to the VNE speed. The maximum flap extended speed is the VFE speed. A pilot could lose one or both flaps if the aircraft is flown above the VFE speed with the flaps extended. The VFE speed is indicated by the upper limit of the white arc as indicated in the diagram of the airspeed indicator on the bottom left. The VR speed is the rotation speed and according to CFR Part 23, is the speed at which the pilot makes a control input with the intention of lifting the airplane out of contact with the runway or water surface. The VS speed indicates the stalling speed of an aircraft. It is important to remember that airplanes can stall at any pitch attitude or airspeed. Stalls occur from a rapid loss of lift when the critical angle of attack is exceeded. Angle of attack is defined as the angle between the cord line of the airfoil and the direction of the relative wind. The VS speed is the minimum steady flight speed at which the aircraft is controllable. An airplane will stall if flown slower than the VS speed. The VS speed can be thought of as the point at which the aircraft is at the critical angle of attack in straight and level flight. The stall speed is the point at which the airflow over the top of the wing can no longer flow smoothly to the trailing edge of the wing. The VS zero speed is the stalling speed in the landing configuration and is indicated by the lower limit of the white arc as shown in the chart on the left. To the bottom right of the page is a question that you may see on the private pilot written exam or oral portion of the private pilot check ride. Which color identifies the power off stalling speed with wing flaps and landing gear in the landing configuration? As you can see, the lower limit of the white arc represents the power off stalling speed for an airplane in the landing configuration.
The VLE speed is the maximum landing gear extended speed and is the maximum airspeed for operation with the landing gear extended. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe for more educational videos on aviation and flight training concepts.